Jennifer and Logan have eaten up a lot of their time. Neither of us have fried chicken before, literally ever, so we have no idea what we're doing right now. Oh my god, she is cutting it close. Oh my god! Um... Well, that looks crispy, huh? Yeah. This chicken is burnt. And time is not on our side. One of the drawers will have the measuring cups in it. The drawers, those are cupboards. The drawers? It's a tough challenge because there are a lot of elements to this dish and to have to cook it with your loved one doing most of the heavy lifting and the home cooks tied to that little white box has got to be incredibly frustrating. It's hard to do this in a kitchen you don't know. This is her first time in the MasterChef Canada kitchen. Whenever she needs help, I'll come in. I'm gonna cut this in two. Uh, maybe two or, or even four. Okay. Make it strips too. Andre never yells, he's calm and sweet. Just says, Auntie, remember to check this. Auntie, remember to check that. He's great. They need to use their time wisely, but they also need to give good, clear direction. A little bit of garlic powder? Yeah, a little bit. A little. Sweetie, I love you, but just a little bit, not too much. Positive reinforcement. That's what I'm looking for. In my opinion, the 18 minutes should be used for very intricate cooking. All the menial jobs and tasks should be done by the visiting loved ones. So just salt and pepper, vinegar, sugar. Make it thin, right? What does it need? I don't know. If it's too tart, then you need sugar. I do think I would probably go in right away because I think dissecting the chicken, prepping the marinade is super important. Do you want me to come in? I don't know if I'm in the right spot for breaking this. It's literally just like feeling where the joint is. Yeah. Want to try the other one? Um, it's probably safer for you to do it. Though. Jennifer is very patient, very calm. I can tell you, I think she's being too patient and too calm. How about I get the biscuits going? Yeah. OK, sweet. Good tag team. We are making a crispy sesame chicken with ginger sesame biscuits and spicy peanut gravy. Wait, should I have made these a little bit shorter, do you think? You should just eyeball it and trust yourself. Jennifer seems to really trust my abilities. I don't know if I trust myself as much. I'm going to get out, because I feel like you know how to do everything. Are you feeling good? Yeah, yeah. How are you doing over there? All spice. We're making scotch bonnet gravy and Jamaican-style fried chicken. What makes it special is the allspice. I make chicken all the time. I just don't usually fry it. I'm doing the biscuits today because my Auntie Joan is not comfortable with it. Biscuits not very much part of our traditional meals, so I'm doing chicken and I'm doing the coleslaw. He'll uh, make sure I don't mess this up too much. OK, what else, Chanel? Keep talking uh, to me. So once those are cute, get them into a bowl. I already got your bowl out. We are making fried chicken kebabs with a lemon tahini gravy. Roll it out just gently so it's like this high, babe. I do not cook, so I'm just going to do what I'm told. Super gently. Don't push down. Just like. Yep. Don't push it down, babe. You don't want to push it down. Jeez, you know. I know. Yeah, maybe I'm bossy at times. Quick, quick, quick. Got to move quicker. I'm just trying to make sure that they look lovely. OK, I'm going in. OK, so just give it a really, really good mix. We are making a piri piri crispy fried chicken with a spicy honey drizzle. So got to have that Portuguese flavor. Yep. Add the flair. Chrissy and Terry seem to be like a very well-oiled machine. They have absolute harmony happening in their station. This dough should be really ragged. Yeah, no. You've made biscuits. You yeah. Know. My mom taught Chrissy and I to cook right from a young age. We were always in the kitchen with her. And Chrissy and I very much work off of each other. OK, look good. You're doing so good, sis. What does that temperature look like? I can't read it. OK. Here we go, chicken. Chicken's going in. Every home kitchen needs a Dutch oven. They're perfect for deep frying, and they're good for all hearty family meals. You're doing so good, Leo. Thanks, babe. All the home cooks look like they're on cloud nine right now, having their loved ones here. You're doing awesome. Thanks. A little salt? Yeah. How's it taste? I like it. OK. It's the perfect addition. He's a natural. Is that enough dressing? More. Just keep tasting it along the way. I'm going to come in for a minute just to double check. Yeah. Yes. Going in. Don't do a thing. Perfect. I want to run in to check the temp on the oil. Yeah. Jennifer and Logan have eaten up a lot of their time. Neither of us have fried chicken before, literally ever. So we have no idea what we're doing right now. Oh my god, she is cutting it close. Oh my god. Um. Oh, that looks crispy, huh? Yeah. This chicken is burnt. And time is not on our side. Um. So I would say get those thighs in right now. Okay. Logan, seriously, just as fast as you can. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 10 minutes! Last 10 minutes in the kitchen! 10 minutes to go! Going in. I feel like we're in a good place right now, okay? Huh? 
The home cook should have the fried chicken out of the fryer, resting. Put it onto the, uh, no, 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 with the raw chicken. They should have their coleslaw marinated. Did you put maple in it? A little bit. Have those biscuits coming out of the oven. Can you lift this one up? That's one big biscuit. And the gravy is the jewel in the crown, I think. Check the gravy, make sure it's all good. Andre's only got a minute left, and he's still in the kitchen. OK, I think these are done. Shoot. I run out of time. I can't stick around for plating, but I know she'll follow my instructions properly. Once you think it's done, you can strain it to get all the lumps out. OK. OK, try it. Taste it. Is it good? It's salty, but I like salty. Why are you adding more salt when he said it was salty? OK, I'm coming in now. OK, go chop the tomatoes, please. Tomatoes. Five minutes! I don't like this. <laughs> Let's get some chicken on there. Got to move faster, got to move faster. Chanel's got to get out of there for the final push. You're Put up. the lemon on the plate. One minute, last minute, one minute left. Ah, come, come on, guys, final Let's push. Let's go here. get those Quick, dishes quickly. presented. Last Where's the salt, 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 salt? Over there. Let me know if I should plate it better. I love it. You do the drizzle. You do the drizzle, girl. I'm scared. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Heads up. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> you did amazing. Like, Pretty good for never frying chicken before. Yeah. This has been the weirdest date we have ever had. Mm -hmm. Chrissy and Terry, please bring your dish to the front. I hope this dish is enough to impress the judges today. We made Portuguese crispy fried chicken with a piri piri, spicy honey drizzle. So let me ask you just one question, OK? Who is the better cook? Oh, Chrissy is, hands down. <laughs> I'm more showy about it. She's quieter about it. But she's a very good cook. <laughs> well, I'm going to right now sink my teeth in this chicken my way. Wow, wow. Yeah. I just <laughs> love the flavor coming from this chicken. It is moist, perfectly cooked. Yes. <laughs> I love the spices from the peri-peri, that honey and chili. Beautiful touch. So who was responsible for the fancy knife work? Uh, me. Fresh, <laughs> crunchy, crispy, and that little bit of fennel in there is just absolutely wonderful. That is perfection. <laughs> Perfectly layered. There's a little bit of air trapped inside of this pastry. The gravy to me is the weakest link. It just doesn't have enough flavors for me to really want more of it. But overall, you can see the craftsmanship on this plate. Great job. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Josh and Erica, please bring up your dish. We made prairie style deep fried chicken with a cream and vinegar coleslaw and a chicken gravy with a garlic biscuit. How the color on the fried chicken just looks incredibly golden brown and crunchy. That texture of cornmeal, and I just love the generous portion too. <laughs> Really great moist chicken, which is absolutely essential. And then that wonderful savory crust to it. Thank you. It's like a little nest. Who likes the garlic? Uh, it's definitely for me, Chef. Uh, you know, that Ukrainian background. It's a lot of garlic. So I'm responsible for the biscuit and gravy. This biscuit? is almost textbook. <laughs> it's fluffy, it's flaky, and your gravy, well seasoned, it's balanced, well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Andre and Aunt Joan, please bring up your dish. This is Jamaican fried chicken and biscuits with Jamaican style coleslaw and a side of scotch bonnet gravy. The chicken looks really crispy. I can see just some of the batter coming up here and it looks very inviting. This is not your first rodeo. <laughs> this is a very beautiful fried chicken. It's crisp on the outside, moist in the middle, and that hit of allspice just brings it all to the next level. Oh, thank you. The biscuit has a wonderful golden brown color to the top, the same on the underside. Could have been maybe a little bit on the thicker side. OK. You had to make sure that gravy kept us coming back for more. 
You have done exactly that, my friend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is savory and rich. You get a little bit of that heat, but it just sort of creeps in just gently, and then it lingers long on the tongue. Well done, Nancy Joan. Oh, thank you. Jennifer and Logan, please bring your dish up to the front. We made an Asian-inspired fried chicken with a red cabbage, coleslaw, ginger, sesame biscuits, and a spicy peanut gravy. I know this dish was probably inspired by me. We definitely wanted to impress you, chef. Well, I'm going to do the honor, the chicken. Chicken's perfectly cooked. <laughs> it's tender and juicy. The coating, it's crunchy. The sesame seeds, a nice touch. But you can see from the edges and some of the skin, it just slightly burned. But overall, I would say, well done. Thank you, chef. Wow. Perfectly cooked. What is this exactly? It's kind of like a gravy and a peanut sauce at the same time. I love the flavor. Did you add a roux to this? Yes. I don't think you needed a roux with peanuts. Peanuts have a lot of thickening properties to them already. Great. But other than that, it's very different and delicious. It's really great. Thank, Thank you. you, Chef. Yes. Thank you. Chanel and Leo, please bring your dish up for tasting. We decided to do Greek-style fried chicken on suzaki skewers with a kale slaw and oregano and roasted garlic biscuit and a lemon tahini gravy. I love the color. Good, generous portion, no bone, easy to eat. Beautifully cooked chicken. Nice and moist. Good, crispy powder crust. Wonderful. Thank you, chef. Who made the biscuit? I made the biscuit. Oh, that's quite a big biscuit here. You can play hockey with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dip it in this gravy. The biscuit is a bit dry, but seasoning is good, and I just love the flavor of that gravy. That hit of acidity actually balances the biscuit. Well done. Thank you, Chef. But one team had a dish where all the elements worked in perfect harmony, just like the two cooks who made it. And that team is... Andre and Aunt oh, Jones. <laughs> Oh my God. I can't believe it. I won my first mystery box, and it just took my auntie Joan to come in here to save my butt. Congratulations, Andre!